What is the history of metal and horror? Let's find out. I think what makes effective horror is that it registers the anxiety of the humans that are watching it. That's what horror does best. My favorite by far, if anybody knows me, it's the Universal Monsters. That's my whole life. My mom took me to see the original Jaws when I was really young, and it scarred me for life. The first VHS tape I ever had I had was Dawn of the Dead, and I would just let it play over and over all day long. I must have watched it thousands of times. The movie that affected me the most was Salem's Lot. Hellraiser is another massive great film and I remember watching that for the first time and being totally blown away with it. It's human, it's not human, and then there's this little matter of having a whole bunch of nails banged into your head. Sounds like a crazy idea. The Groovy Ghoulies were on. I was obsessed with that show. It didn't seem that different to me, the Bugs Bunny, the, the Frankenstein. Like, it really was a natural kind of thing. Of course, like most kids, I was watching cartoons on Saturdays, but I was also watching horror movies. Captain Spaulding triggered the rebellious nature of people, and that is kind of the attitude that goes along with metal and horror. Black Sabbath was a Lars Karloff film, right? You know, that's where they got the name from the film, and they combined it with heavy music, and that's how heavy metal was born. You had people on one hand doing horror music, and you had people on the other hand doing horror film, and then somewhere in the middle where these two circles crossed, you had a hybrid. I used the music, a lot of metal music, for listening to in between violent scenes. It just helps my energy. I still get goosebumps when the skeleton comes up and starts saying, do you want a party? It was like, okay, now chaos is gonna ensue. For years and years, I've been a fan of Metallica. I just think they're awesome. I know there, there are people out there who love horror. I know there are people who love heavy metal. And I know there are people who love both. I'm reaching out to those people and saying, hey man, I'm into it too, and I got a lot of cool stuff. You can just come over and check it out. Horror and, and, and metal really became co-defendants in the satanic panic scandal. Rock and roll is the devil, and horror is the devil too, so it's perfectly natural. Metal 